the song. Yay! Slime songs! I love it! Hello everyone, welcome back to Slime Rancher. My name is ASDF and I'm gonna sleep, then we can do some chores. We always gotta start the day with chores. We didn't yesterday and it felt a little odd. But we got a lot done yesterday too, so maybe it's not the worst thing in the world. All right, we got a chill stream lined up for today. Let's do some chores. Everything is so calming and relaxing. How did a Q-berry fall that far from the tree? Also, why are there so many Q-berries? It's like a triple crop. We've been having a lot of triple crops lately with the trees, but not with the root veggie. Wow, more than a triple. A triple would be 45. That's a, that's a straight up 50 something. Is it gonna be a full 60 though? No, oh, 55. Wow, 55. I wish our backpack could hold that many. I wish we could just get a nice like even 100. Each, each backpack would do a hundred, and then maybe like add a fifth and sixth category of thing that we can carry, you know? 47's an odd one too. These guys are so hungry. Everybody eat some food. You too, buddy. You too. Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you go. There, okay. They were all so hungry. I don't know how they got so hungry. I mean, we cleared out the heartbeats a while back, but uh, yeah, I don't remember don't remember them. Oh, wow. I guess it's been a long time. We didn't do chores at all yesterday, probably. We still have to sell these quantum ports, too. Wow, there's so many. The pink ports I kind of want to deposit, but we're going to have a lot of them over by the lab. So we should be okay on that front. Let's go ahead and just sell these real quick. Oh, I kind of need that stony hen. It's for our plans for today. I have some, I have some big plans for today. Oh, we can grab our um, puddle ports. You know, these guys are so chill, they never get angry, they never- Oh! Sorry about stealing your rubber ducky. Any VeggieTales fans out here? King George and the rubber ducky? The story of King David and Bathsheba? Kind of a dark story in the Old Testament. Wow, quantum plorts are so cheap now, they're only worth 25. Our plorts are so cheap, we've devalued them. Okay, let's get some Oka Oka's going. Yeah, these are getting old. I wonder why, um... I wonder why there's so many. I could have sworn we, we fed all our, our slimes yesterday, but it just doesn't look like it. Maybe we slept at the end of it? Oh, what's up, Leviathan? Welcome. It's all good. You can, you can be late, you can be on time. I'm gonna throw a whole bunch of them in there, because we're, like, behind. That way, everybody, everybody gets to eat. Alright, we're gonna have to do this in two parts anyways, so it doesn't really matter how many we take. Actually, it was exactly 50, but they're still eating, so we'll come back and do that again. We'll do the same thing here. Wow, there's so many plorts. 84? Can't believe it. But how you doing, Leviathan? Happy, what is it, Tuesday? Happy Tuesday. It'll be Wednesday when this comes out on YouTube, so sorry about throwing y'all off on YouTube. Also, we're not streaming Wednesday night this week, because I have a, a business meeting to attend. Our church does yearly business meetings, and they encourage all members to attend so that you can know what's going on with the church, so... I'll be there. Getting the, the latest goings-on at the church, and then Thursday is going to be the stream for the night. Okay, here we go. So we can pick these up now. Alright, they're all doing good, they're happy. Which is good. I kind of want to put music boxes on all of the enclosures. Might as well. It's not that I'm worried about them getting out, but they'll be happier if there's music boxes. Glad to hear you're doing good. Leviathan, I feel like you're always doing good. I don't think there's ever been a time where we've come in the stream and you're like, life sucks. Which, I super appreciate the positive energy. It's super helpful. But also, don't feel like you always need to say that you're doing good. Um, I know there's there's a lot of rules, unspoken rules, about being on Twitch where you don't want to go into someone's stream and dump a bunch of negative energy, but if you need help, or if you just need to vent, just, you know, let us know, and it's all good. But yeah, you are a very, yeah, almost always doing good. You are a very stable, positive influence on the stream, so super appreciate you. Okay. 
Let's uh, let's get these guys going now. Yeah, they're all happy. They're doing great. And then we're gonna have to go into the grotto. And we're gonna have to probably make four trips back and forth to the grotto for the, the honey. Honey selling. We're gonna need to have a market link all over the place. Hopefully we'll be able to get it. We also need to go, part of our chores now is going and collecting those, uh, those drills, pumps, and apiaries. So, while wow, they're all on the ground. Now these, these honey slimes have been doing fine because we have so many mint mangoes. There's another 35 over there. Yeah, there's so many on the ground in here. And there's so many in here too. So we'll fill it back up, but I don't think we're gonna really need to, to do much with these. 38 and 38, that's fine. The only time you're not doing good is when you're sick. Yeah. I just recently rewatched. Every now and then it goes out again as a repost, but it's that video of a, a lady on. Uh, it looked like probably TikTok, asking people like, "Who's that one person that you always call when you're at your lowest, and you just need somebody?" And and it's so sad because it's this compilation of guys responding, and they're pretty much like, Do "You guys have somebody to call? Like, I'm a dude. I don't call people when I'm at my lowest. I just deal with it." And it's just such a sad video, because I feel it in myself too, like when I'm at my lowest, I just try to, I just try to power through it. It's not the way to go, you need to be reaching out to people. You need people that you're close to, that you can trust. Do that, okay. Um, our second pass through here, we'll grab these honey plorts and we'll throw them into... the lab. That'll be fine. Wow, our mint mangoes just grew in too. Okay. Now we gotta go do our run to the Atomic Pink Largos that we've got over by the lab. Hunter Plorts, I guess, are doing pretty good too. Crystal Plorts are pretty expensive still. Bubble Plorts are the most expensive. Wow, the income really slows down after you stop unlocking new areas. Okay, we'll go through the grotto so that we can get those honey plorts on the way to the refinery. Because I want to make some more apiaries. Bees are my top priority right now. Oh, you know, I guess we can do a uh, crystal port as well. What's up, Krieger? I feel like it's been a while since you've been on the stream. You've been lurking a lot. How's the new job going? Well, I hope... Look at this, I went through the right door. All it took was me uh, taking a whole day of going the wrong way. And then we got it now. Okay, these guys, those guys could use some food. There's no auto feeder on that one. And this auto feeder is probably empty, but we'll, we'll put these in here and then we'll go feed our slimes. It's busy, that's why so lurk. Yeah, totally get it. Totally get being busy at work. No worries. Work's important. It's not the most important thing in life, but it's important to do good at your job. Okay, we're gonna throw some more of these in there. And then we will throw an auto feeder on this guy. Boom. Which I think is on this side, which is a bummer. Had I known they would go on this side, I wish you could customize which side the auto feeders go on. Had I known they'd all go on that side, I probably would have built them on over here, and then I would have built the trees on the inside just so that it's a little easier, but. There's 20 in there now. Oh, that's the wrong, that's the wrong thing. Okay, 24 and 25 is fine. Good for balance. Okay, just gonna make sure we got them all. Now, I wanna put the pink plorts into, into the thing. Wow, it really spits those lemons out fast. I wanna put the pink plorts into the refinery because they're so cheap. What's up, nerdy gamer gal? Come on in not worth selling them, but we need to get the pink plorts going for the things that we can build. And then the quantum plorts, we have 28, so if we hold 22 after we deposit, then that's fine. And uh, we'll sell the quantum plorts, because we need lots of money. And more phase lemons just grew in, so I'm going to take the opportunity to harvest that before we go off for the day, and then never come back. So, If you're slime ranching, work is very important. That, hey, that's true. Gotta keep our slimes uh, healthy and happy. 
Now, I want to put music boxes on these ones too so that they stay calm and don't try to escape with their quantum floor. Whoa, why is that so loud? Everyone's eardrums, I apologize. Wow, what's up Yoshi, welcome. Thank you for the very loud uh, Snoop Dogg. That was pretty brutal. Yoshi must have been pretty busy at work this whole time too. It's our work from home crew. Okay, we'll throw these lemons in here. And then these guys should be good for a while. Oh, hey, one escape. That's a that's a full slime out here. He was in this one, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, he was in that one. He was probably trying to get the lemons. All right, let's throw a music box on these. That way they hopefully stay in the enclosure listening to the lovely sounds of slime music. And let's go collect those pumps, drills, and apiaries. Of course, you had to be wearing your buds. Oh no, I'm sorry. I must have bumped it. Um, I moved some cables around and I think I bumped some of those things. So, all right, we're headed out. We gotta go collect our, our things, because they are done. I think they're done, right? Yeah, ready. How do I... Oh, you have to not be in the build mode. Great, great, great. We even got a spiral steam, which I think is the rare, uh, the rare resource. We're gonna need to put refinery links out there too. Market links are things that you can build. That... Was that a whole day? It's already turning night. All we did all day was chores. <laughs> Feels like that in real life too, am I right? <laughs> Those chore days. Alright, let's sell our quantum plorts. We'll head out to the moss blanket and we'll get our apiaries. So, market links are little things you can build in those build slots. And they allow you to sell things from a distance. Um, and refinery links are the same, but for the refinery. So, well thanks JKL semicolon. Also, welcome back to JKL, who's been absent for quite a while. Okay, let's go get the other ones. The fastest way, I believe, is still through here. Not there. That one goes to someone else's range, I think. But I am looking for this guy. We'll grab the stuff in the moss blanket first, and then we'll go through the other cave. And we'll actually remember to bring some Q-berries for those, uh... the angry phosphor largos on the other side in that little cave, so... Any amount of work for the cute slimes, yes, absolutely. And every slime is a cute slime. It's like how every doggo is a good boy, or a good girl. Okay. Here we go. Oh wow, we got hexcomb and wild honey, that's nice. Okay, and then the other one's up here. Hexacomb, bee stuff and geometry, the chocolate and peanut butter of nature. Okay, so hexacomb was the rare one. Glad I got it. Cool, we will run out the rest of our endurance. We'll head on back to the ranch, and then we'll go... See, I think if we had six slots, then we could go harvest... Oh, they're flying. If we had six slots, then we could harvest two of those at once, instead of like one... Well, two types of them at once, instead of one type. But it's all good. Yeah, it's quite a run to get all the way back to the lab. We're gonna need some refinery links. Let me see what it takes to build one. I don't know that we've gotten the blueprint for it, but if we can unlock it, I still ha I haven't spent my money yet on the grotto upgrade. I really do want it. I know it's just a visual upgrade, but I want it so much. 
Okay, there's the honey. Now, this is the fabricator. Market link, we can fabricate with... Oh, we need a lot of the... Oh, we need royal jelly, too. Three hexacombs. Sheesh. That... Okay. Um, there's also warp tech. Let me see if I can unlock a teleporter. Now, warp depot... Remotely transfer resources between two points. It's probably only one resource, though, so... Not ideal. And then... Pink teleporter, create your own travel link. It's worth unlocking, because then we could get that going, and we could have teleporters where it takes a while to get to. What does it take for that? Deep brine hexacomb, strange diamond. Wow, okay. It takes a lot of resources for this stuff. This is, okay, so this is the part where, this is so far has been a vanilla playthrough. I imagine there's some kind of way to spawn these in, these resources in, instead of having to farm them. Um, and I know the game is farming, but for the YouTube algorithms, um, well, for YouTube, for content and for Twitch, I don't know that doing nothing but that for two weeks of streams would be enjoyable to watch. So probably I'll hold off on that. We do have to go, we have to go, oh, grab some of the Q-berries first. 15 should be good. And we are going to give those Hungry Phosphor Largos some sustenance, and they will be happy. At least that's the goal. And it's nighttime too, so they'll be extra. Grinding off camera would also work, that's true. I could, I could spawn them in off camera and say I've done some grinding. Because that's, that's the same effect for the streams, is me playing it off camera and me spawning it in off camera. But I won't lie to you guys, I'll just say... Like, I have no shame in saying, hey, 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 eat the food. Stop dodging it. Thank you. Oh, now they're happy. No, he's still angry. Eat more food. Have some more. Man, I shot enough of those. You'd think they would just eat them. Okay, well, that's for you guys. If you have more angry friends, let them know. The Q-berries are for them. All right, I did some grinding off camera. You have 999 of every resource, right? Nah, I won't lie to you guys. Oh, excuse me. My man, that's not cool. Indigonium. Heavy metal experts often call this hard rock deep purple. Slime fossil history could smile, it would look like this. Oh, it's a slime and a fossil. I love that. That's cute. Is that an angry guy? Oh, he's happy now. Okay. Nothing wrong with making it easier to deliver the same conclusion. Doing the things the long way often means less content. Yeah, honestly. Because the grind is not content. Now, if I had like a Saturday where I had nothing to do, and I just wanted to stream for eight hours, I could do an eight hour Slime Rancher stream and we could grind it out and it would be... The end result would be the same as if I just spawned it in, but we get to hang out for eight hours and that would be a lot of fun. Alas, I'm very busy on the weekends. Look at that guy, kind of quantum sitting up there. This might be an all-nighter kind of journey. Okay, let's, uh, let's harvest... Well, let's get the phase lemons going. That way they don't fall to the ground and then our our slimes teleport out to get them. I don't really know what makes these guys teleport out. I just assume that if there's food outside, they'll try to get to it. But they should be really happy now inside their little enclosures, so... Should be okay. Now, with two of them, with the phase lemons, I could probably put up another one there. And we could split the phase lemons between the three, because in one day we went up to like almost 50 phase lemons in each container. All right, we'll get the quantum plorts. We'll we'll put the pink plorts in the refinery. We'll sell the quantum plorts. I think that's still the best way to do it. Eight-hour lawn mowing simulator stream, dude. That would be so great. I would love that, honestly. 
Either way, you find this game therapeutic to watch and listen to. Yeah, me too. That's why I'd be happy to do an 8-hour stream of it. I haven't done an 8-hour stream in a while. I haven't done a 12-hour stream either. We need some goals. Maybe I'll do some YouTube goals. I'll do an 8-hour, or I'll do an all-day stream when we hit 100 subs over on YouTube. However that happens, so if you guys wanna- if you guys wanna help get the word out, ask your friends to sub to my YouTube channel, then we'll get- when we get 100 subs over there, we'll make a day of it. Do some kind of all-day celebration. That'll be good. I suppose it's if we get 100 subs on Twitch, I'll do the same, but that's a huge accomplishment on Twitch. <laughs> that would essentially be somebody paying Mr. Beast to come in and drop 100 gifted subs. We want to have ASDF do an all-day stream. <laughs> now I'm just doing more chores, because I feel bad that all these guys were hungry. So... Plus, there's so many of these to sell. We need the monies. We need all that monies. How long are you gonna stream when you get a hundred... How long are you gonna stream when you get a hundred million subscribers on YouTube? I'll do a whole week stream, man. I'll do a whole week stream if I wake up tomorrow and I have a hundred million subs on YouTube. Because somehow I will be... I, I will have gone from the tens of thousands of small streamers um, on, on Twitch to, like, one of the 12 people on YouTube that has over 100,000 subscribers. Can you imagine? That would be amazing. Upper crust. We must have gotten a lot of money for that achievement. Okay, well that does it for the chores. Now on to our daily adventure. I guess our nightly adventure. We need a lot of stony hens for this. And I don't want to completely take up our collection of stony hens, but we need a lot of them. Yeah, I'm gonna leave a roostro. I'm gonna leave a roostro and two hens to, to recoup our losses there. Actually, I'm gonna leave the elder hen, elder roostro, and roostro. 23 stony hens is close to what we need. We need 25. So I'll do this. I'll do 20 stony hens, and then I'll go in here and I'll grab... Some briar hens, we need 10. And then we also need 50, I'll use mint mangoes because we have so many of them. We need a, a warp gear tech that slows down time so that we can get all our chores done in an hour instead of all, taking all day to do chores. And then we need that to be invented in real life. Okay, there's 50 mint mangoes. We needed it, we need it. What do you need the hens for? For secrets. That's what I need them for. I don't... Get out of here, elder hen. Nobody wants you. Okay, this should be perfect. Uh, we need one more key. And we have access to one more key. But we need to pop a couple gordos first. So that's what we're gonna do. So we're headed off this way. Now we haven't explored this area yet. I think we need one more key, maybe we don't. No, we had two keys, and we needed two keys, and then we used one, so we only need one. But you know what, this is okay. I thought there was some secret down there or something. Oh, there it is, there's carrots, and a treasure pod. All right, here we go. Oh, I almost jumped off, because I thought it was connected. Uh, these guys are jumping off. Potential for cars around here. Okay, now I don't want to miss. Wow, that is one large Gordo. It takes 50 food to pop a Gordo. Okay, all you guys. And... Go over there. I don't want you, uh, taking my resources here. Just in case there's something right- Oh, come back! Okay. Don't need the hens. Now we're on this island over here. This is Ring- I think this is Ring Island. Is what it's called. So... Yeah. And at the very top... Is... A Gordo. So we're just gonna be making our way to the top up here.
Making our way downtown. Walking fast. Chickens past. I guess I'm not homebound either. That whole song kind of... Very situational, so... And that's what I needed the hens for. And this is what I needed anything for. The problem with the pink gordos is they don't- they can eat anything, but- Oh, he only needed 30. Okay, well we just needed this key, so... Enjoy all the foods, because you guys are pink and you eat any- Oh, stony hen. Good. We're gonna put mangoes all over this island. And a pogo fruit. Might as well grab this stony hen too, because we just used a lot of stony hens. Now it's stuck in your head. Well, you're welcome. What a great song to have stuck in your head. Wow, there's so many stony hens in this island that you can teleport to after you sacrifice 25 stony hens to get here. I think this is the way out, right? I don't know. I haven't seen any notes from, from H. Oh, this is cool. There's a tar around here somewhere. You guys hear the music? That's tar music. Alright, where's the way out? It's... This side, right? No, I was just over on that side. It's gotta be on the other side. No, I ran this way. Okay, it's gotta be this way then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad I checked the map. Because I would've just kept on running. Hey, another one. Another one. Alright. I guess I should be saying thank you. H. I haven't seen any notes from H. I'm gonna turn into a Canadian. Leviathan, you've influenced me so much, I'm turning Canadian. Not like citizenship or anything, but just, you know, in mannerisms and using partial imperial and partial metric. I brought you guys some friends. They're just like you, but not. Alright. We got a key. A key? A key? I want to upgrade. Oh, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I purchased it. No, H is not Canadian. H is, is English. Oh, it's worth it. I'm so glad I put the crystal slimes in here. Wow, look at that. This is so cool. Oh man, I love this. The grotto is one of my favorite zones. It's my favorite expansion. As cool as the lab is, this is so cool. Wow. Oh, amazing. Say H and Z enough times and you'll transform into a European. Could be Irish, I could be Scottish. Just can't be Canadian, I guess. I'll have to use pure metric though to be European. I don't know if I'm ready for pure metric. I still think in miles per hour, because all of the mile all of the speed signs are miles per hour. Even though I think typically I think in uh, kilometers for units of distance. Where did that come from? Use metric for coffee, so I guess yeah, true. Metric is good for coffee, because it's more precise. Coffee's a science. Despite contrary belief, coffee is not an art, coffee is a science. The growing of coffee is an art and a science. And then once you get past that, it's all science. It's all about how to extract it properly, how to grind it properly, how to roast it properly. It's all science, no art. So, coffee is scary. Clean up coffee. Cheers. You get those nice tingles, and you have the, the sip that's just right. Oh yes. Very good, very good. Alright, how much time do we have? 30 minutes? Let's take a call from Ogden. I'm working on a new recipe, help me out. Oh no, I don't even have those. What even are those? Grapes? Odd onions grow in carrot patches, rarely. 
Um, I think if you grow an odd onion, you have to go find one in the wild, bring it back and grow it, and then it grows like half odd onions and half carrots. And then I don't even know what these are. It's probably worth planting some of those over here just so we have access to them, but I don't think I'm gonna do this quest. Sorry, Ogden, I know you need some help for this stuff, but someone else is gonna have to help you. I want to go to the mall. Nah, I don't wanna go to the mall. There's nothing. Our mall here in the valley is kinda, kinda eh. I mean, there's a lot of malls in LA. The one near us is kinda eh. But we have three near us, and one of them is outdoors, one of them is outdoor-indoor, and one of them is mostly indoor. I don't know why I ran all the way here. I could have teleported there first. So, where would be good places for teleporters? I know, I'm gonna put them in the main area in our ranch, but like, where's the other end supposed to go? If a veggie looks odd enough, if it looks odd enough, maybe don't eat it. Yeah, right? Maybe it's not a veggie. Maybe it's a small creature that is sleeping, that doesn't need to breathe. Like a mushroom. Is a fungus a type of plant? I think it is, but then it's also got like the... Like the neural networks and stuff, the, the mycelium networks. So it's like a weird plant. It's kind of like coral. I feel like mushrooms and coral should be in the same category. Except one is ocean and one is land. Fungus is its own kingdom. Oh, okay, cool. Well, there you go. That's why it feels like it should have its own kingdom. Coral or animal? I know coral's technically an animal, but like, you know, it's a plant. It, it's more, it's as much a plant as a Venus flytrap, therefore it is plant. That's, that's my reasoning, you know? Now I gotta find some quantum ports over here. Oh, a gold slime. I don't have any food for the gold slime. There's a carrot. You want a carrot? Yeah, you do. Okay. I'm gonna be a genius here, ready? Because I need a, I need a... I only have veggies. He's not hungry! Alright, I was gonna be a genius, and then the slime wasn't hungry, so... I need some fruit, so that I can get the lemons. Oh, what's that? Have we seen this before? I feel like we haven't seen this area. Oh, we have! This is where he's like, you have a choice. Are there fruits in here? There are. No, stop eating the fruit. I need it. I need to go convert to lemons. My mouse disconnected. and I think my mouse is reaching its end of life, which is a bummer. Well, it's a bummer and a blessing, because now I have the Logitech G305, which I really like. But I kind of want to get the upgraded version, like the Logitech Ultra Pro thing. The one that Hollow got. Yeah, why is Coral an animal? I feel like I should know that already. All right, let's go back here and pick up some... Oh, ooh, ooh, an echo. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with those. Type unique. Within the crumbling walls of the ancient ruins, small traces of energy can be found, never staying in one place for very long, called echoes. They're believed to be a phenomenon resulting from some kind of ancient event. Since they're harmless, echoes are often collected by ranchers as good luck charms or used as decorations. They appear regularly in the nooks and crannies of the ancient ruins, as well as from extractors. They can be used as decorations. Simply vac them up and shoot them wherever you want. They'll hover in that spot until you vac them up. Well, let's keep it there then. Isn't that cool? Alright, you get a phase lemon? Come on, mouse. I just replaced the batteries recently too, so it's not a battery thing. Okay, you're hungry. I don't need the rock ports. You might be hungry enough for another. Uh, yeah, he was. I need this, and then I need the quantum ports. I think, I don't know how many I need. So, I have one more lemon, we can get two more. And then if I see fruit, I'll grab it. All right, we gotta go up and out. You always knew lemons weren't real until you throw something at them. Yeah, it's like that in real life too. Okay, here's fruit. <laughs> so cute. I 
Alright, I'll stop. I'll stop making zipper sound. We also need to come back with... What's a boom slime's favorite? It's not... Is it a regular hen? Here, eat that. No! Get out! Who ate it? No, okay, I got it. Oof. Alright. It's like, so help me if you eat this thing. I don't really know my way around here. I'm looking for an entrance to where that boom slime was. It's gotta be... here? Nah. Nah. But he is over here. Let me see. He's over this way, and then, like, down. Right? I don't even know where he is anymore. Oh, he's over here and then down, so we gotta get back that way. How do we get back that way? Because he's straight up facing the wrong way from here. Maybe there's a teleporter or something. We have two lemons, so we can get- oh, that guy's really hungry. He'll eat another. No. Oops. No, he will not eat another. Oh, he'll eat one, though. Yeah, give me your poops. Thank you. I need them quantum poops. More lemons? Uh, pogo fruit. Alright. We don't need more lemons now. Maybe this goes the right way? No, that doesn't go the right way. We need to go up there. We can get up there, though. Pretty easy. Oh, we need to go... Maybe we can just go over the door. We stand right there on that treasure pod. Yeah. I'm a genius. Ooh, a letter from H. And an echo. The ghostly phase lemon trees that you may have seen were a real, hard a real head scratcher for me for the longest time. I kept dreaming about an ice cold glass of lemonade on the long summer days I spent exploring these ruins. Delicious stuff. But here's the trick. If you want those lemons, you gotta be willing to part with a fruit of your own. Give it a shot. H. Well, here's fruit of my own. Where's the lemons? Where's that lemon tree? There's no lemons. There were lemons. Maybe you have to hit them. Oh well. Uh, I'm headed off this way still. Yes. Okay, so there's a teleporter here. I didn't mean to pick up this quantum slime either there. You could be home, little buddy. I meant to go this way. And this is what I needed a key for. Go down facing toward the Gordo and fly to the right around the wall. Oh, and it's Briar Hens. Okay. Well, we have a lot of Briar Hens. We use some of them for the tabby. Oh, we only need five. Oh, a letter from H. The ruins used to be some kind of warp station used by whoever created it to connect to one of the far most distant corners of the far, far range. Be careful, Beatrix. Once you cross over, you'll be in truly untamed country, though beautiful. The other side can be an unforgiving place, H. I thought he left his notes for whoever came along, but he says Beatrix specifically, so anyways. The song. Yay, slime songs, I love it. Oh man, this is so cool. Ooh, all right, in we go. Smoke, fire, mirrors. We're on the other side now, the glass desert. Oh, this is cool. This is really cool. There's a couple slimes in here that I want, so... We'll pick those up on the way back if we don't get the slimes that I want. A butterscotch teleporter unlocked. This is... we need, like, um... We need to regrow the desert, I think. So we need that fancy spring water. Ring rock plorts to here? Oh, there's a, a dervish slime. Now, what do they like to eat? Dervish slimes like prickle pear. 
Um, they can cause total chaos if not cared for. In addition to frequently riding atop whirlwinds at high speed and collecting objects along the way, highly agitated dervish slime can produce giant cyclones of air that vacuum up and toss everything they touch. Okay, interesting. So we got a dervish. Um, well, there's a rock slime here. The only slimes you can get is dervish and rock slimes. True. Oh, here's the other, um, painted hens. I forgot about painted hens. These are cool. We'll pick up some of them. Oh, don't fall down there. That's death. This is where the spring is, I believe. Oh, and you're right. Here's where I need the, uh... Here's where I need the rock quartz. Two? Three? Four? I declare a thumb war? Oh, I need a key for this, too. I don't really know what this is. Is it worth opening? You need Maria from Sound of Music. She can throw a, a whirling dervish out of whirl. Hmm. Not worth opening? Okay, good to know. We worked hard for our keys. I don't want to waste them. Now, the rock guys eat veggies, so there's no point in me taking these hens. But we did rescue one. Okay. The desert is a harsh place for sure, but there are little pockets like this where life is waiting to flow back into the soil and reach toward the clouds. Of course, it might happen a little faster if you give it a helping hand. Use that noggin, Beatrix. H. Okay, so we need the rock plorts for this. There was a rock guy over there. So we can, we can farm him for a bit. I'm sure there's more than one. He's back this way. We need some veggies, too. I don't know that there are any. Oh, little painted chickadoo! So cute. I like the little blue face. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so if we find some veggies... We should be able to feed them. Get enough rock plorts. I just don't know if there's any veggies. There's probably nothing growing. Yeah, we probably have to bring veggies. You think the only other time you've heard that word? Yeah, there's probably just hens. Okay, we'll put the painted hens in with the... Uh, where should we put them in with? I guess we can have a little hen container. Oh, I might as well pick these up and sell them. All right, well, we'll head back for now, but we've got to the, we've got this far. And then I think we need a teleporter because it takes so long to get back here. But we can start cultivating painted hens. I think they're the fire slime's favorite food. Something like that. There's not, like, a secret two-way teleporter around here, is there? I'd be so mad if there was. Imagine. We need to put a two-way teleporter, though. We need to get, like, a... We just unlocked the butterscotch teleporter. We can probably put it in here somewhere. Or even if we put it on the other side, that would be fine. And then we could just put them, like... These three could be teleporters to other zones. Okay, quantum plorts we can sell, gold port we can sell. It's only worth 268. Is it even worth selling now? We got a dervish slime. Um, painted hens, you can just go in here with, with these guys. That's fine. Painted hens and stony hens should get along. Let's grab some rock plorts and then we'll make the long journey back out there. Oh, why do we need to go home? Do we need to sleep? We could just stay up all night again. I don't know why it's telling me where my home is. That's kind of strange. And then off screen, I'll figure out where to put those teleporters and everything. Get them sorted. Actually, I need to put a dervish slime away. Now, there's two. I pressed R. 
Oh, it's R, R tells me we're home. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Okay. I'm digging it. That's cool. We could grow things on those two and put the slimes in, in those two far away from each other. So let's put the dervish slimes over here. I do need to unlock the docks. How much is it? 5,000? 10,000? 20,000? 5,000. Yeah, we can unlock the docks. Oh, and there's a rubber ducky. We can put the we can put more puddle slimes down here. And then this is probably a good place to put stuff too. Oh, it's dangerous out here. A view of the sea really reminds you of our greater purpose, Beatrix. The sea was the first great unknown, and then all and then space, and then whatever is beyond all that. That need to see what's around the next corner is in my bones, and since you're out here. I reckon it's in yours too. Though I suppose you could also be out here because you like the fresh air, or because you prefer the untamed beauty of this land, or maybe it's because you're looking to leave something far behind you. Sure, it is, sure is the way to do it. Doesn't get much further than this. It's true. What's a, what's a good screenshot? Include in the dock too. Maybe like that, and then we'll. Uh... Oh, there's a screenshot option. Oh, I don't know where it saves it though. Okay, let me... What, what's the button? Other? Maybe like that. Maybe, maybe like that. We'll get the note from H in there. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know what makes a good screenshot. Not holding the vac tube would make a great screenshot. But, you know, whatever. Save that as capture. I guess we could have just used the uh, the in-game one. Now, now my mouse isn't working. Oh, baby. Alright. Resume. I don't really need the HUD for now. Well, we'll need it eventually. Okay. Well, now we don't have enough to really put anything down, but let's put down a corral for our dervish slime. Hi, little guy. I know, I know. We don't have enough for high walls. Hopefully he'll... He's not gonna stay. He's, he's not gonna stay in there. We need high walls and an internet and a music box for this guy, so we'll take him with us. He is a cutie, I know. He's so cute. Okay, well we gotta go back to the, the painted desert. And we gotta get these rock, rock flirts going. So, prepare for the long trek. And then I'll figure out how to get that, uh... I'll figure out how to get that other stuff sorted by the time the next stream happens. Oh, the next stream's tomorrow. Hmm. If I have time today, I'll figure it out. Otherwise, no promises. So, which means no promises. Because if you have a conditional promise based on something you don't know, then it's basically not a promise. It's it's a maybe. That's You only need three. Well, we got ten. So we are prepared to miss seven times. It's gotta be a faster way out here. I know there isn't unless you make your own teleporters, but there's gotta be a faster way out here. All the slimes are hungry. Oh, almost forgot about that. Gotta go in there so that I can go out and up. Because that'll help us fly high above everything else. I'm headed this way, right? Uh, no, I'm headed that way. But I gotta get out this way first. Look at that big tree! I wanna grow one of those back home! That would be cool if you can have a, a planter and it's just like a ginormous tree. Okay, we'll get up here. We have enough to get there. Good thing this treasure pod is here, otherwise I'm not sure we could have gotten over the gate. Oh, I don't know if I have enough. 
barely enough. Also known as just the right amount. Um, how do you fly? Yeah, you just hold down space and I have a jetpack. It's one of the upgrades that, that we got. We should check if there's any upgrades too. I think the treasure unlocker is an upgrade. The first one. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I should have taken a screenshot of this place. That's that's the kind of screenshot I need. We'll do it in the other zone. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And we will... Do this. Do this. Do this. Do this. Should be a screenshot now. Right? Is it a good enough screenshot? Uh, no, I'm, I'm facing the wrong way for it. I need to, I need to face, I don't even know where I need to face. I need to go like this. I want to get like this, but without my backpack in the way. I need like a minimal backpack mod or something. It's just so intrusive. All right, well, I took a couple. Hopefully that'll be fine. And we're off. We're off to uh, rehydrate the whole desert. And we've got five minutes to rehydrate a whole desert. Oh boy. There's gotta be a secret up there too, right? Gotta be. Oh, oh, there's a dervish slime over there. Bordeaux dervish. And a treasure pot at the top. Oh, there might have been veggies in this box. What is that? A silver parsnip? We probably need one of those. I don't know which uh, which slime is going to eat the silver parsnip, but one of them is going to eat it. What's this? Just rocks piled up? Okay. Rock plorts, here we go. We got a silver we got a we got a fancy food. It's like fancy feast, but for slimes. There's one. Love the music. Where's the last one? I can't I can't hit that note. I thought maybe, but nah. My voice isn't hydrated enough. Not nearly enough. I always have trouble finding this last one. Is it like at the start? Is it? Maybe it's up there? Yeah, I would have a hard time getting up there. I'm gonna have to ask Leviathan where it's at. Oh, I have a screenshot thing in front of my chat. Um, the building on the mountain has cool water. But you need tangle ports for it. I think I can fly up to there. So. Yeah, I can get up here, but where's the last? Err, is it outside? Is it one of those things that's like, it's not in the room? It's like right here. Oh, I was like, it is right here, but it, but it's not. Okay, well, we may, oh, there he is. Okay, we don't need the rest of these. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I think what we need to do is get ancient water. And then we need to go spritz this on all of the little all the little doodads. Which I'm already out of run juice, so. Oh, I love this though. Cool! What are you guys? Mosaic slimes? What are those? They like the silver parsnips. Oh, cool. They can be dangerous. They're, uh, okay. Sparkly things are super cool. Totally, yeah. Well, we'll combine those with the dervish slimes. Oh, I love this. And then we have seven of them. Um, and they'll eat the silver parsnips, so that's a, that's a perfect scene. All right, let's get some more. Let's get some more of this going on. Yep. 
Yeah, that's a uh, that delay is killer. But ended up ended up finding it exactly where Leviathan said it would be. I think I can hit another one from here too. I think there's one over here. No, I didn't have enough. Didn't have enough juice. Okay, so I have to not run until I collect that water, and then I need to run. Unless there's little sprigs... Like, can I fill up here now that I've unlocked it, kind of? No, I can't. Okay, maybe if we hydrate this whole area, it'll come up with another spring. I should not run now, so that I can run later. I love this, though. Okay, here we go. Boom. We're running. We're running. We're not wasting, uh, we're not wasting anything. We're just running. Look how happy they are. Alright, we're running. We're still running. Oh, there's the map. Okay. I think there's one more in this area? No? Oh, it's up here. Ah, oh, bummer. Went the wrong way. Maybe there's one behind that guy, too. Oh, if we pop that guy... Um... If we pop that guy, that's the teleporter back home, I think. But we don't have enough to pop that guy. That's the Tangle Slime, right? Alright, we're running, we're doing this one more time. And then I think it will, once we have all three of those guys unlocked, I think it will create another spring water somewhere. That we can use for the other ones. Oh, everything's growing and healthy and awesome. Oh, hi guys. Tangle slimes, diet meat, painted hens. Rancher wrist, they can be a handful on the ranch. Okay, so I won't take any of those back yet. This is the... this is the problem. This is where the fire slimes come from, I think. Yeah, everything's on fire over here. Hey, stop being on fire! Oh. You're fine. Okay, there's a slime key door. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's dangerous here. The heck. Work me? Oh, thank you for the lurk. Yeah, he's definitely sitting on a teleporter. And they eat the painted hens, so we'll be collecting those next time we're out here in the desert. But for now, uh, I guess it's not so important. Are these the fire slimes, though? Oh, I want some of these. I definitely want some of these. Give me more fire slimes. Ouch. Come on, hit me with a fire slime. Fire crystal slimes would be really cool. Any more? No? Is that one over there? Yeah, that's one over there. I'm gonna just try to get as many of them as I can. There's another one. This happens every now and then in the Painted Desert. It's like a firestorm kind of deal. Oh, oh, I can't. I can't do that thing. So if we're gonna have Tangle... Tangle Quantums coming up, then I think we have all of the types of slimes that we need. Oh, it's a tar. Get out of here. Oh no, and it's not fiery. Oh. You can't- oh, you can't make fire largos. Oh, they're like puddle slimes, but they go in the incinerator. Okay, interesting. We'll have to put those down by the docks. Because then we'll have the large puddle and we can put an incinerator there. Which means we can separate out... Um, we can separate out our chickens. We can replace the puddle we have with another chicken coop, and we can put the painted hens in one of them. 
So, oh, cool. That's that. We got a lot done. I didn't anticipate getting this much done this stream, to be honest. But we were booking it. I should have gone in backwards. Would have been very efficient. The trouble is we have no place to put them currently and no money to build stuff. So we're going to have to drop the parsnip on the ground. Well, I guess the mosaic slimes can go in the little enclosure that I already built. Oh, uh, teleporter's up here. Mosaic slimes can go in the little enclosure. And then we'll we'll move those guys over and everything. So, yeah. Wow, wow, what a productive stream today. That does it for today's episode. So if you're on YouTube, by the way, thank you for coming by and watching this video. And if you would like it and subscribe, I would definitely appreciate it. And it's only one or two clicks for you. As always, if you're on Twitch, thank you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.